Hello there people, this is Bruce Be Cool or Nintembrus here, back again to give you a few more hints and tips on Yu-Gi-Oh! Millennium Duel's Expert Mode, and this time we're going up against Mokuba Kaiba and his Worm Royalty deck. Now depending on your playstyle, this could be the first deck that you really have trouble with, but we'll go through all the basics as always and cover off some combos in between as well. Now, for those of you unaware about what worms actually do, they're just there to be really, really disruptive. So they can bounce things back to the hand or extra deck, uh, they can destroy things on the field, they can replenish the user's hand or special summon to the field. Um, they can do all sorts to a degree, so you kind of got to expect anything with this deck. Um, but this particular combo I'll, co I'll cover off in between here anyway. Now, one thing to definitely take in about Worms is that they are all Reptile and all Light. Light being the definitive highlight here. Uh, unless you're a zombie player, you might want to run Zombie World, that can disrupt him. Um, but yeah, especially being Light, if you're running things like Ally of Justice, uh, you can have an easy time against this deck, especially if you're, if you're running Decisive Armor, he's a really good one besides Catasta. Definitely look up Decisive Armor's effect if you're uncertain what it actually does. Uh, but run that if you're using Synchros, certainly. Um, if you're not fussed about the monsters per se, uh, targeting Light, then go for some support. So you've got Light Imprisoning Mirror, that's a big one straight off the bat, uh, and stops all his effects on the field and the grave regarding Light Monsters. If you're going to ignore the Light feature completely, then bear in mind that Worm Monsters are okay slash, you know, below par on attack and defense. The 8 star monsters sure have 2700 attack, but then it goes all the way down to 1800, and the defensive um, monster is Worm Jaegen, which is 1800. All the rest are really, really poor, even the 8 stars, like I think the highest is 1500, and then the 8 stars are 1100 defense, so yeah, if you're running a deck which can disrupt and put things in defense mode, then definitely do that. Be careful about putting Worm Jaegen face down though, because when that's flipped face up, it can bounce your face up monster back to your hand. So be careful with putting all your eggs in one basket there with a high level fusion or, you know, a synchro monster or even XYZ monster. Worm Jaegen is a pain in the backside. Speaking of which, let's cover off its combo. So the main thing you're going to see is Worm Zex and Worm Jaegen. Worm Zex, when it's normal summoned, he can usually bung uh, Jaegen into the graveyard, although it can be any reptile worm type um, from the deck. And Jaegen's ability is if Zex is the only uh, monster on the field of his, uh, then he can special summon Jaegen into face down defense position. And if Jaegen is face up, Zex can't be destroyed by a battle. But the big thing is he's recycled a monster which can just bounce something back to your hand. So be very careful with that. That's another thing. Because this deck does rely on the graveyard as well, you're probably going to want to rely on a remove from play deck if you're not using any of the above suggest uh, suggestions so far. Um, doing a remove from play blocks down quite a bit of his deck, so definitely think about that. Other than that, I don't really want to go through the rest of the monster effects. Um, the only other one to note maybe is it'll special summon Worm King and just tribute itself to blow up one of your cards, but yeah, the rest are very, very minor really. Going into his support cards, the big one are the traps. So if you're not running sh uh, sorry, Light Imprisoning Mirror, you're definitely going to want to run Royal Decrees. So you're going to want to block Offering to the Snake Deity and W Nebula Meteorite. The Meteorite card changes all face down monsters on the field to face up defense position, usually activating effects there as well. Uh, and then during the end phase, he turns all the face up light reptile type monsters down to defense position, draws a card for each, and special summons one of his 8 star light reptile type monsters from the deck onto the field, which is very nasty. You're definitely going to want to run um, Botanist Trap Hole, Solemn Warning, um, things to just blow up. Uh, the field really, Torrential Tribute as well, this is if you're not relying heavily on Royal Decree. An offering to the Snake Deity, target a face-up reptile type monster and two cards your opponent controls, destroy all three targets. What you can do here is actually put his uh, reptile type face down that he selected to negate the effect, or end up tributing one of your monsters. He does have quite a few destruction cards, so if you run Stardust Dragon, um, or anything to block trap effects, then great, definitely do that. Forbidden Lance is quite good here because that works for you and for him, depending uh, uh, what it is he does. 
Uh, other than that, he's got a lot of special summoning material. He does have Mirror Force and Dimensional Prism, but that's by the by. Um, special summoning, he's got Call of the Haunted, Viper's Rebirth, Worm Call. So keep that in mind. And then he's got his Solidarity to cover his weakness in attack points. You're definitely going to want to consider some mystical space siphons of sorts, like two at the least, very, very least there. Um, other than that, I think we've about covered it. I mean, other routes to this is you can even go for Dark Samorg if you really wanted to, uh, stop him setting things. Um, you can also run Skill Drain if you wanted to, not as effective as uh, Light Imprisoning Mirror here, but you get the point, depends on your deck style here. Um, and other than that, you can also, just in general, run beefy monsters. So although I say don't put all your eggs into one basket, if you've got an easy summon of a beatdown monster or a monarch or something, then go crazy for them. Uh, start removing cards and go from there. And also, worms aren't too good against swarming type decks, so uh, keep that in mind as well. I think that about covers the majority of worm weaknesses, so the big thing is definitely remember the light weakness if you're going to go for that angle. Remember the attack and defense uh, of them is either average or subpar, um, and just try and swarm them and stop a lot of the trap effects uh, going off of his. So, pop your comments and thoughts in the section below, uh, pop down anything that I've missed off, unfortunately there's only uh, a few minutes that I can whack in as much as I have so far, but that's what this is all about, helping each other out. And until next time guys, you take care of yourselves, and I will see you again soon.